Jesus said to his disciples, You have heard that it was said, An eye for an eye, and a tooth for a tooth. But I say to you, Offer no resistance to one who is evil. When someone strikes you on your right cheek, turn the other one to him as well. If anyone wants to go to law with you over your tunic, hand him your cloak as well. Should anyone press you into service for one mile, go with him for two miles. Give the one who asks of you, and do not turn your back on the one who wants to borrow. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Today this Gospel invites us and let us say that Jesus is also asking us to go beyond doing evil. But we need to practice good. Responding evil with good, Jesus teachings. Our first reaction when someone attacked us, wronged us, or hurt us in some way. Our first reaction is to return harm received. That is, we tend to apply the law of an eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. This law, found in the Old Testament, limited reverence so that the punishment would not exceed the harm received. For example, if someone stole from you, you can only do to your neighbor what he has done to you. Otherwise, it will be an injustice, that is, a proportional reverence. However, Jesus teaches us to go beyond this retribution. He tells us not to return evil with evil. But I say to you, do not resist him who is evil. But whoever strikes you on the right cheek, turn to him also the other one. Instead, he invites us to practice forgiveness and to do good, even when someone hurt us. St. Augustine reinforced his teachings by saying, Reverence does not satisfy justice, but rather offends God, who forbids repaying evil with evil. This call to respond to evil with good applies to all areas of life, including conflicts between countries or families' disputes. Instead of perpetuating a cycle of violence, we are called to build peace, live in love and mercy. We must practice justice without returning evil, but by doing good with God's help and grace. Do not be overcome by evil, but overcome evil with good. This is demanding. It is demanding for us to practice good even when that person has done wrong on us. Even when someone has hurt us, we are called. It is demanding to practice good towards the person and pray for the person so he knows the harm that he already did and the harm that he is doing towards the others.